certainly don't have our gluten developed to a high level after the mix for virtually all of our doughs. We allow the dough to develop more strength through time and through folding. These are the best friends of bakers. Up to a point, the more time you can give your dough, the, the more structure there'll be in the dough environment, which can translate into bread with better flavor, better volume, better visuals, and even to a certain extent, better keeping quality. So this is mixing with one third of the flour being pre-fermented and roughly six minutes of overall mixing, which is gonna be, for this machine, it's about 950 revolutions of the mixing arm. This is our pouliche, very, very bubbly and ripe and fragrant. And by pre-fermenting some of the flour, we're injecting some extra flavor into the finished product. This is sort of like DNA. Our mixing style here for many doughs, not all doughs, is we mix on first speed for three minutes. Uh, this is a slow speed. We're not concerned with gluten development at the beginning. We're concerned with the incorporation of ingredients, adjusting the consistency of the dough so it's not too wet, not too dry. We'll taste it for salt to make sure that it's in the correct amount. Then we'll go to second speed. That's the phase during which we're getting the majority of the gluten development. Okay, when we're at this point, the ingredients are almost completely incorporated. Okay, when we look at this, it has no development. It's very shaggy, it's very tacky. There's no gluten whatsoever that's been developed at this point. That's appropriate because again, what we're trying to do now is get a good incorporation of ingredients. This is where I check it for consistency, and to me it feels just a little bit dry, so I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a, a little bit of an addition of water. As a rule, we always begin the mixing on first speed to get the incorporation of ingredients. The second speed mixing is gonna be determined by what kind of dough it is, what the particular characteristics and needs of that dough are. That's a good consistency now. I like that better. And even after just 40 seconds on second speed, we start to see at least the beginnings of some gluten development. Yes, it still shreds pretty readily, but I can feel a little bit of structure starting to come into the bowl. That slapping sound, it's the incorporation of oxygen into the dough, which is just sort of an audible indicator to the baker that things are proceeding the way they should. So there's all these indications. There's visual, there's the tactile by pulling on it, um, there's certainly the audible, and it's not until later that we get the other two senses, the uh, olfactory and the eating sense. Now after two and a half minutes on second speed, you can see that there's been quite a lot of development. The dough has some backbone, it's got nice structure so that when I pull, it resists my pull. There are two main reasons why we fold. One is to expel any buildup of carbon dioxide gas that's been formed by the yeast during this initial phase of fermentation, um, which is somewhat of a toxic waste, so we want to get that out of the dough, and folding will effectively do that. And the second reason we fold is because it's a way that we can add more strength to the dough environment. Um, when we were mixing it, we intentionally mixed it a little bit light so that we could preserve as much of the flavor, the carotenoid pigments as possible. And now, in order to bring more strength to the dough, since we didn't do it in the bowl, we're going to do it through the act of folding. So we'll get flour on the bench. And as this comes out, you'll see that it's got a kind of flowy nature to it. What's happened is the gluten strains have somewhat reverted to their kinked up form. The act of mixing elongates them and strengthens them. And then during this um, period where it's been undisturbed, the gluten somewhat reverts to its original form. So by folding it, we're going to re-lengthen the gluten strands. As you'll see very soon. The process of folding is simply, some people call it a stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. And then we'll do these two sides. 
Then when we're done, our gluten is nice and taut again. It's nice and lengthened all over again. So we've just brought another nice bit of strength into our dough. Okay? And now, it goes back in the bucket for another hour, and then we'll divide it and make some baguettes. Thank you.